uh, for enable hands. And what we're using is just a modified blood pressure cuff. So I've taken the cuff and I've kind of rolled it into a cylinder uh, and secured it to this little stand. And uh, so we have our blood pressure cuff. And what you're going to do is you're going to inflate it up to 20 millimeters of mercury uh, as a starting point. So it's going to poof up. We got it up to 20 millimeters of mercury. What you're going to do is you're going to assess the grip strength by actually squeezing this. So if you look, I'm at 20, and if I use my hand and I squeeze it just a little bit, it's a very light squeeze, I can get it to go up to about 40. So that's how we're going to actually assess these hands. We're going to see how many millimeters of mercury we can get to move uh, by squeezing it with an enable device. And we can compare that to our own uh, actual grip strengths. You keep your eye on the dial. And you take something like maybe a Phoenix hand, and we're going to grasp it. And we're going to orient it so that we're getting the maximum grasp, so that we're kind of getting that pinching between the thumb and the index finger to really squeeze this device. And we're going to give a squeeze. And we see that we get about 10 millimeters of mercury out of the Phoenix hand. So that's basically the grip strength. Now, if we want to go a step further, we can actually use this little kind of pulley system that, that we've created that screws into a Raptor palm, and we have a design for the Phoenix as well. And then you can run a string through that's going to come around and underneath and come out the back. So this allows you to activate the hand completely um, by holding it just at the gauntlet, and you just pull the string. So the advantage here is you don't have to disassemble the hand to figure out what force is actually going into actually pulling the back of this to get out the grip strength that you're getting at the end. So we can attach something like a spring scale. This is a spring scale. We actually have nice digital ones that we use, but you could use a, just a spring scale that uh, kind of gives you a measurement of the forces. And you kind of pull on this. And as you pull on it, you can get your grip strength and you can get your hand to close around your actual um, blood pressure cuff. So you can measure grip strengths uh, that way as well. So how do we do this? How do we get the blood pressure cuff in the right format? So this is just the regular blood pressure cuff. And all I did was roll it into a cylinder and secure it with some, some blue painter's tape, because uh, that's what we have in our lab for our printer beds. So it's very simple. Um, anybody can do this if you have a blood pressure cuff and you can kind of get an idea of what kind of uh, grip strength you're getting out of your enabled devices. Uh, we are finding about 10 millimeters of mercury for a Phoenix hand and about five or six maybe out of a Raptor hand, uh, largely probably because of the um, thumb positioning. So we're getting more uh, kind of resistance between the thumb and index finger to give you that good, strong grip. Let me know if you have any questions.